So there are lots of people interested in this, but of course they've all been taught about the hip and the spine and, um, and how they work together. So what is it we're getting wrong, or to put it a different way, what, what is it that you bring that's new to the party? I think essentially there's, there's three things that, uh, that I would sort of highlight is, is with every patient, whether they come into clinic or whether it's a, a sports person. And you, you have, they're obviously the presenting complaint or case history. But if you bring it right down to the basic level, most of the people that we see with, say, for example, hip, uh, pelvic issues, certainly from sports perspective, they tend to be quite chronic. It's not as simple as a straightforward muscle strain or mechanical acute back spasm. Uh, this is something that sometimes people can, can still exercise, can still, still work, still, still achieve a certain reasonable amount of daily uh, activity, but there's an underlying grumbling issue. And I think the three fundamental things that I like to sort of think about is one, their anatomy, two, how they move, and three, uh, how much load uh, in terms of uh, frequency, volume, intensity of, of, of activity. Now, we have to sort of define that really. That could be a, a, an elderly person who has to go out of a chair and walk around weight rows to do shopping at the end of the day. That's a lot, yeah. okay? Uh, or it could be a sports person who's got to run five kilometers every day in a, yeah. in a sports pitch and lift weights in the afternoon and, and things like that. So I think those are three fundamental things. And it's, it's always easy to blame it on the load. Oh, you've done too much. It's, that, it's the coach's fault, you need to do less. Well, actually sometimes doing less is quite detrimental to the health of an individual as well. Uh, in clinic today, I've been working this morning and I've had a, someone come in who'd been uh, to, to, to have a consultation with someone else and they've been told to stop doing all physical activity. And I said, well, that's fair enough. I can understand there's a time and a place to do that if, if it's a raging, red, raw, acute injury. But if this is something that's grumbling along and you have to move and get up and, and drive your car and go out of your car and climb stairs, then you need to do something because otherwise it's yeah. just going to get particularly worse. So it's, it's understanding that, 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 yeah. uh, that, that level of, 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 of activity. Yeah. I was going to say, you mentioned earlier on that this applies to everybody. And of course, the book here talks about if the athlete does this, if the athlete does that. But, but all the principles in, in your book here would apply to pretty much any member of the population, wouldn't they? What, 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 I, what I was impressed, well, not impressed by, I'm not trying to blow smoke here. What I really liked about the book is that there was one case in it that I was reading about where, you know, you came up with four differentials, which include the respiratory system or the muscular uh, system, whatever else. You know, there was, there was lots of exploratory stuff in here, which challenges the thinking process quite nicely. I think it's your evaluate part of your five eights, isn't it? If you're, you're probably going to tell us about those. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, so my, my whole... I used to teach uh, before COVID, I used to teach a lot of hands, uh, face to face courses and students used to say to me, do you know any good books? And uh, I'd say, well, I know lots of books, but it made me sort of think, well, maybe I should do something. And that's what COVID probably accelerated yeah. that. And it made me sit back, Stephen, and actually think, well, what is it that I do different uh, to somebody else that gets the result that I want to achieve? Uh, and and I, I, I come up with this concept of my five eights, which is evaluate, educate. Uh, manipulate, activate, integrate. And it's, it's, not, it's not my concept. I mean, that's a business model and anyone can use it. But if that, that sits perfect the way I work. Uh, and, and it's I probably spend most of my time talking to patients and evaluating and educating them and very little time actually with treatment. And, and actually that works exactly the same in sports for people as well. And yeah. the same patterns, movement dysfunctions, what I've come back to there about anatomy, movement and load, the same movement pattern dysfunctions you see in, in elderly patients that you can often see in, in elite athletes.